Hi Christian, right this is Phil Best mate here, this is for anybody else as well who might be interested. What we're actually doing is Christian is trying to, he's doing a design for, we won't say what he's doing it for, but he's doing a design and he basically, as you can see, he wants to trace the lines. Now that was the original picture that he's actually sent me, that was on the on the website at the time, right, and he's been trying to copy these squiggly lines. Right, so what I've actually done is, I've, um, I've actually made if you look very closely, I've got this is a compo this is a component there, yeah, and below that is one face, and that's got the picture of I've imported the drawing, right? So it's got something to follow. That drawing has been sized and scaled and put onto that rectangle, right? Then over that then is a second face which I've then made clear. If I, if I take if I put it onto uh, monochrome, you'll see all of a sudden now it's gone, yeah, because it's actually there it is there yeah okay I'll put it back on there so the reason I've done it on so I've put it about two or three mil away or ten mil away whatever it's not that important just so that he can see that okay so there you go now so now what I can do is I can actually trace over that and I can see the pattern but I'm actually drawing uh, obviously uh, on the top face and not on the original drawing if I but first of all I need to go into the editing mode which is what I'll do double click and now I'll go into the editing mode this is a copy of that, but without the background, so you can see how it's looking um, without the picture in the way, basically. Okay. Now, what we've got is, I've, I've um, sent a Christian, um, Christian, is it? Sorry, mate. Uh, a video how to use the arc tool. A lot of people don't know that it does use on a tangent. It works quite well on a tangent, and I'll show you. So, if we grab the arc tool, start it at that end there. You get this lovely, is that magenta? I'm not very good with my colours, but you can actually move that around there and it will it will always maintain the tangent. So if you're happy with that, we then click that and then that does that again. Yeah. We can zoom it in so we get it all, say, there, like so. And then I'll come round there, like so. Okay. I've probably gone a bit far there, but anyway, hey ho. I don't like that. Well, anyway, we'll do it. This is only an example, right? So hang on, let's just, we just want to, see the more you go back the flatter it goes then, so you'd have to just do it smaller, okay, like so, like so, and like so, and then eventually, as time goes on, you'll, you, you get to a point where you'll sort of finish that, okay, now what's really important, and this is most important, is that as you're going round with the arc tool, you need to check that you're getting a, a face. You, it's it's keeping the, it's making a face as you go around. Because if you don't, if I, I tell you, I'll just put it to monochrome a minute. Look, if you don't, you don't get that separation. Now, if you look at these lines here, there, I've put them in on purpose. The reason I've done that is that it makes it a small amount. So as I'm going round, I'll keep checking, and I'll put lines across to check that I'm getting a division every time. If I don't get a division, I need to go back and repair that line. Because SketchUp tends to have a habit of not always making a, a very, very tight joint and it'll just bleed all the way through and you'll, it'll, it'll like this, this is what happens in effect, I'll show you. If I erase that now and put that back on, right, it tends to have, have a habit then of going all the way over the drawing, okay, which is obviously what we don't want, isn't it? So, uh, by doing that, it monitors that. And that's basically it, really. So that's how to use the arc tool. Now, I've just fiddled about there, but you can actually get it quite tight if you wish to do that, just spending a bit more time on it. Now, another one, another thing you can also use is the is obviously freehand. Now, obviously, you've got to have a pretty good hand to do it freehand, but I have why not have a go? If you just press there and hold that like so, I'm then holding that down to there. Then I'm going round there, round there, round there stop okay now obviously that's not creating a face yet because well it doesn't need to for one it would do hopefully if I draw across there for the leaf and it does you see if you just right click on it if you always just right click it it decides the face and shows you whether you've created that face and also the other way you can tell is that the lines uh, go thin when it's not when it's not a complete face the lines get see how thick they are, and as soon as you know it goes thin, you know it's going to work. So 
I'll just show you now what I've done there. So if I then pop a bit of colour on, like so, a bit of yellow there, you can see that I've just done those, them examples for you, like so, right? It's as simple as that, really. And I think that, as you see, that looks uh, quite nice, doesn't it? Now, of course, once I'm happy with the where it's divided, I then just get rid of them, get rid of that, get rid of that, and that should be fine. But of course, if I get rid of that one, it's all going to go brown from there on, isn't it? Because, well, it won't, didn't there, but it would, you see? So, that division is so important, so you must constantly keep that division every time, just to check that, you know, you draw, you're doing okay. Then if you've come over this side here, as you can see, we can, we've got the original, sorry, my, I'm getting a bit clicky there. That's my, my fault, hang on. Right, there we go. As you can see now, we can see how it's looking, and it's not too bad, is it? You know what I mean? You're sort of getting quite a nice line. I hope that sort of helps you out, Christian, and uh, gives you some idea. And just remember that this was a component, and that was a copy of that component. So anything I draw on there, like so, is going to go onto there, you see? So, which then gives us a, a better visual representation when you're looking at it. Okay, I hope that sorts it out, mate. And if there's any questions, obviously get back to me. As I'm sure you can appreciate, there is quite a bit of gentle work to do there, isn't that? You know, uh, to sort of to get that half decent. But, uh, but you know, a nice sort of day, I think you'd probably get a nice, pretty good job of that if you spent a, bit, a few hours on that, you know, and get it quite good. Okay, mate, I hope that helps. And then, uh, if there's any problems, get back to me. Okay, then. Cheers.